Okay, warning, cuteness overload. Aw, oh, thanks, Victoria. No, not you, Anthony. I'm talking about the cuteness in our first story. Why? What's it about? Well, it's about a toddler, a mini ride-on battery-operated car, and the Tetra Society of North America. Tetra, of course, is the non-profit volunteer-based organization that creates customized assistive devices for people with physical disabilities. They do some really cool projects. I'm intrigued. Well, then let's get right to it. Laura Bain brings us the story from Beaver Bank, Nova Scotia. <laughs> so it goes faster this way. It's more downhill. It's fair to say that Michaela Faulkner has one of the coolest rides in town. The three-year-old who has cerebral palsy has no problem keeping up with her mom and her brother Lucas as she zips around the neighborhood in her hot pink toy mini car, complete with black racing stripes. You're cruising now. She's not able to walk or even to sit up on her own, but she, and she can't talk fully. She can say little words here and there, but she's able to do a lot of things, so you have to adapt everything to the way that she can move. Go. Press the button. Go get Lucas. Lucas, go ahead. Ride-on toy cars typically use a foot pedal accelerator. Michaela's car has been adapted. A secure seat and hand-controlled button-operated accelerator have been added. The first time she was in it was at the hospital, and she was driving around the hallways, and even the neurologist that she sees saw her in it, and she was so excited. She can operate it pretty good. Even when she stop, go, stop, go, she does it because she wants to do it. She does it on purpose. The adaptation doesn't allow Michaela to control the steering on her own, but her seven-year-old brother is happy to pitch in. <laughs> good job! <laughs> Independent movement, like cruising in her car or playing cars with her brother, is crucial for children Michaela's age. Put the car on the top of your car transporter. Ah, ah. It's linked to a wide range of developmental benefits, says Julia Gates, Michaela's occupational therapist at the IWK Health Center. I think for Michaela, having the car, it's her first chance at being mobile and directing the movement. It affects learning on every level, socially, from a fine motor perspective, visual, just learning about everything in their environment, tactile, all their senses come into play. Julia says she got the idea for adapting the toy car for Michaela from a program in the United States called Go Baby Go. Julia reached out to the Tetra Society of North America to see if they could help. Tetra volunteer Ken George took up the challenge. I'm the only one in the group with much electrical expertise, so I said, well, I should do that. So far, Ken has adapted about five cars for different kids. Each car is a little different. They're wired differently. They have different features. And, it, you know, you, you look at it for about a half an hour before you figure out where you're going to cut the wires to splice in. So it requires a little bit of electrical knowledge. Switches can go anywhere. Seating can be adapted as needed. So far, the feedback's all been super positive. Uh, the children love it, and uh, the parents love it, and uh, everybody goes away happy. Go get them. Back on the street outside her house, Michaela is in overdrive. She is as fiery as her hair is red. <laughs> She's very spitfire. She has her temper tantrum. She knows what she wants and what she doesn't want. Julia says Michaela will soon outgrow the car. It's not going to be a long-term device that she'll use. Um, I suspect in the next year we'll be bringing her in to uh, look at a power wheelchair. Until then, Michaela is firmly in the driver's seat. She likes to have fun. She's very much social butterfly. She loves other kids her age and even the older kids. She's very happy for most of the time. And for this social butterfly, the mini car has really allowed her to spread her wings. Well, I think the car was their first big step to getting her independence. She can go out and she can play and she can have fun and they can have fun letting her chase them around. You weren't kidding when you warned us about the cuteness overload. The smile on Michaela's face at the end of the story was priceless. It really said it all. Well, I couldn't see her smile, but I could definitely feel the happiness from everyone in that story. And no wonder the Tetris Society is doing incredibly amazing things. 
You said it, but we should also point out that this and other cars like it aren't replacement for wheelchairs, but more of a fun temporary supplement. That's right, and we should also point out that there are 45 chapters of the Tetra Society across North America. To find one near you, visit tetrasociety.org. You can request a device to be adapted, volunteer, or search their database for past projects that might help you or someone you love overcome a barrier.